Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In this video tutorial I am going to demonstrate how to backup and restore your Active Directory on Windows Server 2022. And with this method you can restore your Active Directory on same server as well as different server. So to learn that stay tuned till the end of this video and don't miss any single part of this video. So without further ado let's get started. Guys, this is the server on which my Active Directory is installed. Let me show you by going to the CMD, hostname of this server and here is IP address. So hostname is DC2022 and the IP address is this one. On this server, I have configured my Active Directory as well as DNS. Both the rules are configured in this server. So to start with your Active Directory uh, backup and restore process, what we will have to do is very first we need to install one role. For that, let me go into the server manager. Under server manager, click on add roles and features. Next, next prints basically this procedure we are following just to take a backup of our Active Directory. And once backup is done, we'll see how we can restore that. Again, click on next. And here look for windows server backup and here we go windows server backup click on next tick this box so if in case restart is required your server will be automatically rebooted click on install and prints if you are in production then make sure you inform all your respective team like SOC team or managers that you required downtime for this especially at the restore process not the backup perfect guys my role has been installed now click on close let me close the active directory as well as dns from here and once your role is successfully installed go to the tools under tools check for windows server backup click on that let me close other things yeah perfect click on local backup in the wa admin which is windows server backup very first time you will have to wait for some time Perfect. So this is the first time I'm going to take backup. So what we will have to do is click on backup once and if you want to schedule this then you can select first option which is backup schedule. But in our case second option is enough that is backup once. Click on that. This is the option we have which is different options. Click on next. Here we don't want to take full backup of our Active Directory server. So I choose custom. Now click on next. Click on add items. Here we will have to click on system state because in system state your entire active directory will be included there is no other things which you have to backup now click on ok system state is selected now click on next here we are going to save the backup of this our file to a remote shared location for that click on uh, remote shared folder now very first we will configure our another server share uh, network shared drive where we are going to restore this backup my this server is dc2022 and guys very important let me show you that my active directory name is technical spark okay let me show you this server as well if i go to the this pc properties this is my dc2022 server with a windows server 22 version now what we'll have to do is now let me jump into the another server Friend, this is my new server where I am going to restore the Active Directory. So let me show you that as well. Properties. This is Windows Server 2022 Standard 21H2. Okay, and this is my host name. Currently, it's not added to the domain. Let me show you the host name uh, as well of this machine. Host name ip config so this is the host name and this is the ip address so let's configure this particular drive as a share network share drive right click properties sharing advanced sharing share this folder permission should be full to everyone apply ok and apply my this drive is now shared you can see the symbol here click on close just remember the IP address 
192.168.0.253. Now let's go to the our primary server, Active Directory server, which is DC2022. Let's specify the remote shared location here. Click on next, double backslash, the IP address of our remote server, then D drive dollar so that it, it can directly access my D drive and store all the things which is going to be backed up from this server to that location. Now click on next. Once you are done with all the configuration, then click on backup and your backup will be begin shortly. Meanwhile, let me open this particular network share to watch whether the data is getting copied or not. D dollar backslash enter. Okay, it has created one image file. DC 2022. Perfect guys. Now we have to wait for some time until and unless uh, our backup process is getting complete. And one more thing, whenever you assign any uh, local storage or remote share to backup those these things, make sure you have at least allocate 20 to 30 GB of disk space. Let me fast forward this video. Perfect guys, our backup has been successfully completed. It almost ca captured 750 GB from my this active directory server to the remote backup location. Now let me close this. Now close this as well. Now since we are almost completed with our backup process, so we don't need this server anymore. So what we are going to do is, we are going to shut down our this DC2022 server. Now click on windows and shut down. Continue. Now friends, we'll jump into the our different server where we are going to restore our active directory and this is my new server very first we'll see whether our all back files have been captured here or not 7.81 gb which means my backup has been successfully copied to this particular location so before you begin with your active directory restoration what we'll have to do is let me show you my server version then it's windows server 2022 standard Close this. Now go to the start and then server manager. Now here click on add roles and features. Next, next, next. Here you will have to select your active directory service. Click on that. Along with that I am going to select DNS. Then click on next. And at the last you will have to select your windows server backup. Because with this utility we are going to restore our active directory and here we go windows server backup now click on next and then next click on this option which is restart your destination server automatically and install guys we are just installing our active directory domain service role but we are not configuring it perfect our adds dns as well as windows server backup has been successfully installed now click on close close your dips uh, your server manager as well now once everything is completed, what we will have to do is we have to reboot our server in DSRM role which means domain services restore mode. For that go to the search window and type msconfig and hit enter. Go to the boot and enable this save boot option under the boot and select active directory repair. Let me close this and once everything is selected click on apply and ok and click on restart guys meanwhile my pc is starting up let me tell you right now i am performing the disaster recovery on remote server right which means different computer but if you want to perform a disaster recovery of uh, active directory on your same machine then there is nothing much you will have to do the only thing is you have to pinpoint the backup location where you have copied the backup using the your windows server backup utility now let me log in as you could see, I am automatically logged in into the safe mode just by simply restarting the PC because under the MS config, I have selected appropriate options. Now here, we will have to open our server manager. As you can see, my AD, DNS or rules are there, but I haven't configured this. You can see, I am still getting the option to promote this server to domain controller, which means configuration is pending. But since we are using the backup, so go to the tools, scroll down and choose windows server backup utility. Utility is started here. Let me close the server manager. Click on local backup. 
we in our previous server we have backed up our server using the same option right same utility which is wb admin using the backup once option but this time we are going to recover that and our backup is stored in this machine at d drive right so here we'll have to click on recover below the backup once option friends in this location we have to since our backup is stored on this server only but it will not recognize so what we have to do we have to click on a backup stored on another location now click on next and my backup stored on d drive right so we are going to choose local drives instead of remote share click on next and this is the drive where my backup is stored which is d this is d drive now let me minimize click on next please select the server's data which you would like to recover so this is my server of which backup has been stored click on next so at this particular time frame we have backed up our server so it's automatically selected that if in case you have multiple backup then you can choose those recoverable item is system state perfect now click on next select your recovery type so our recovery type should be system state because we haven't configured other things now click on next friends make sure this first option is selected which is original location and don't forget to tick this option perform an authoritative restore of active directory files click on next the specified backup is of a different server than the current one ignore this you just have to click on ok again ok in under the confirmation review your, your settings like what are the things you want to restore so my system state is correct tick mark this box which is automatically reboot the server to complete the recovery process because reboot is very much mandatory now click on recover button click on yes to continue see our recovery process has been started now the way we have awaited for our backup to complete similar way we have to wait here so that restore process can complete do not interrupt because if you disturb your restore process then you might need to reinstall your server friends our restore process is about to complete and my system is rebooting automatically so far i am seeing my windows icon which means my system is successfully restored okay it's rebooted again let me log in for a very first time perfect it's automatically prompted with my domain credential and earlier my this server was not part of the domain okay i encountered some error for now what i'll do i'll log in with my local admin credential As you can see the system state recovery operation that started on uh, so and so timing has been successfully completed. Now press enter. Now friends very first what we will have to do is go to the run type ms config enter go to the boot and we have to disable this option which we have started. Untick this apply and ok. Restart your server so that it can start normally. perfect guys now let me unlock this my pc now this time we will enter our domain credential because we are out of our safe mode in earlier safe mode we were not able to log in guys very first our domain credentials are worked now if i go to the this particular simple then i am not getting any option to promote this server as a ad and this is my ad server Guys, now let's try to open our Active Directory, dsc.msc and here I got the error. Naming information cannot be located because the specified domain either does not exist or could not be contacted. So we can resolve this issue. So as you can see in my Active Directory is showing a red cross mark. So let me close this and we'll again open the run and this time we have to go to the regedit. Under regedit, browse the low HK local machine and then systems current control set services under services we have to see check for net logon under this parameter and here check for sys value ready and we have to change this parameter from 0 to 1 
and click on OK. Close your registry editor and now we'll restart our NetLogon service. For that open the command prompt net stop net logon hit enter it stop now i will again start the service net space start and hit enter my service has been started now we will again try to open our dsa.msc perfect i am able to view my users my Active Directory is successfully installed. Let me ch let, uh, let's check out the hostname. My hostname is also changed from my previous uh, random hostname to my Active Directory server hostname. This PC, this is my backup which is I have re restored on this server. So all through it looks like my Active Directory is successfully installed. Now how we can check that? Let me create one user here. New user and let's give one name here as a gole my surname logon name will be gole next password never expired and let's enter the one password click on next finish my user has been created now let me uh, uh, make a member of this admin group add find now administrator ok apply ok now close all this now let me sign out this sign out Control delete now this time we will log in with another user which is gole and password which is we have created under ad Perfect is accepted my credentials. So friends, this is how you can backup and restore your Active Directory on your server without any issue, step by step. Let me show you. This is my Active Directory. Now let's validate whether DNS is successfully uh, restored or not. For that, let me search DNS here. I don't have much PC connected to my server, so let's validate. This is my primary domain server. And in reverse lookup zone, there should be one entry. Yeah, perfect. My DNS server is also automatically configured. Now let me try to log in with my previous uh, administrator user again, domain administrator. You can see. I am logging into the my technical spark domain. Who am I? Technical spark administrator. So friends, this is how you can backup and restore your active directory step by step. Please test this uh, scenario in your UAT environment and once it is successful like me, then you can feel free to perform these steps in your production environment. If you have any question queries then please feel free to type in the comment box below. I'll definitely try to answer all of your queries. And friends if you want continuous technical videos like this then please subscribe to my channel so that you will never miss new videos when I upload. So that's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next amazing video. Till then bye bye.